Hi guys, Arthur here from Homeowner DIY. Guys, this is your quick tip of the week. So I noticed my rear wiper here is way down here. So it should be up here, which means that this thing is broken. I don't think anybody hit the thing. I don't see any damage around it here or anything like that. I think the plastic is just old and brittle. So this is a 2011 Honda Fit. I really don't think it matters what car you have. It's gonna be the same basic principle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the wiper arm and I'm also gonna put on a new wiper because this one leaves gaps in the, uh, in the window when it wipes. So what we'll do now is material and tools. All right, this is the material and tools list. So I have a replacement wiper. I have a new wiper arm. Socket set, flathead screwdriver, channel lock pliers, and then needle nose pliers. Now, I don't know what I actually need here, but I'm sure these tools are going to cover 90% of the cars that if you need to do this job, uh, this is what you're going to need. All right, first thing is we'll pop this cover off. So there's a gear here. And this is broken off, but... All right, so always make sure that you compare the two parts together. They look the same to me. So there's no wiper on this right now, but they look very comparable. So I have no reason to think that this is not gonna work. All right, so you see the gears on this part now. The part I bought is, is smooth on the inside. I did look into this and uh, the other places that I found Carry the same part with the same same issue. So what I'm going to do is I, I loosen this off. This is 10 millimeter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my channel locks and see if I can just pull this part off. So for the nut, make sure that you back it out enough where it's either the, the stud is flush or the nut is slightly higher. You don't want to mangle the end of the stud. Okay, so that's the inside there, it's smooth. So for this piece here, I highly recommend for a car like this, hold on to it. All right, so you see the little teeth here. I think that is what this is. This is like a, some type of a push fit. I'm not a fan with what I see here, but I mean, it's only a wiper arm, so there's not really much weight or pressure or, or torque needed on this thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Slide the new wiper arm onto this area here and tighten it back up and I'm assuming that is how they want this. Alright, so the old one was right here. There is a line about a quarter inch above this uh, heating line. If you're unsure, just use a piece of tape to mark it where it was. I'm just going to eye this out. But again, with common sense, if it's like this, it's no good. So. It was about here. You hear it click on. And then we'll tighten up the nut. So hold it in place. Tighten it up until you feel resistance and then give it another quarter turn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this a quick test to make sure everything that is working properly here. Okay, I'm gonna hop into the car and we're going to test this. All right, so the test worked out well. Just give it a quick shake. Everything seems solid. And we'll put the cover back on. And guys, just like that, this rear wiper arm has been replaced. So it threw me for a loop how the uh, end wasn't the same. But like I said, with this, I guess the idea is the metal on the inside of the arm of the new one is going to, when you tighten it down, that's going to bite into the grooves on the wiper arm itself. But this is a quick and simple job that you can definitely do on your own with minimal tools. Guys, that is your quick tip.
tip of the week.